Hello, survivors, and welcome back to Stranded Deep. If you would be so kind as to keep it down for one second, hold your applause. I'm about to go for a birdie here in this four-par course on Island 1D, playing a little crab golf. Hold on. There's a hole over there. It's all in the swing. One, two. <gasps> Oh, wait, the log got in the way. I shanked it. Dang log. Ah, I hate golf. All right, get my ball. Come on, we can still go for par. Is this it? My crab, rather. And just, yeah, okay, we can get par. This is, this is a tough course. A little sandy. Ow, oh, ah, bogey. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole, bogey. Ah, you stay there. Ah, I turned you into a crabby patty. I hate golf. <laughs> just like real life. Okay, enough fooling around. Let's get out of here, guys. I have everything I need. I am currently on Island 1D. This is my lumber island. I've been out here chopping some wood. And I'm bringing it to my new island, which is over there. We're, call we're calling this one 2, 2A, which is right over there. And I'll explain my naming system here in a moment. But I am full up. There's nothing else that I can take home. Mostly here for the lumber. And now we're going to make a paddle across the water in the middle of the night on... Busted up Reggie here. Old Reg. Reggie the magical raft that is going to have to be replaced. And we're looking for 20. Yeah, shh, don't tell Reggie. No, I shouldn't have said that, especially out here in the water in the middle of the night. Time is it anyway. Sun's coming up in a couple of hours. By the way, you can note there that uh, I've been here for 19 days now, January 21st. You'll know also that the temperature has changed somewhat. 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It used to be stuck at 108, right? Well, no no longer. It is now we have a whole new temperature uh, system installed, implemented rather, in this new version. So I don't know. Did I mention that there's a new version? I think I did. If I didn't, well, guess what? The game has been updated. It was updated over the weekend. Version 2. Alpha 2. And there's a whole bunch of new stuff to play around with. But uh, in the patch notes, ooh, oh boy, something just swam by. Uh, the patch notes do mention that if you want to get some of the new stuff, like there's new fish, there's some uh, even a new turtley, and um, I think that's it for the for the creatures. But if you want to get that, no, no, daddy, dang you! I don't want to play. You should be in bed anyway. It's past your bedtime. Is that Danny? Oh, well. Reg, I'm sorry what I said. Just get me home. <laughs> All right, keep going. Yeah, so sharks are more aggressive now, apparently. And they get more aggressive as you poke them with sticks and stones, too. Is my understanding. There's my island. There's home sweet home. So, yeah, in the patch log notes, it said that you, if you want to experience some of the new things, if you want the new fish to be around your islands, you have to move to a new biome. Otherwise, they would not be generated. So this is why I have migrated from my old island to my new island. And wait till you guys see my new island. This shelter here that I'm working on is going to be amazing. It's really a lovely place. Though I, I used up most of the wood on this island. That's why I had to go to uh, that lumber yard there. That island behind that, me that we just left had a ton of trees. And I've been kind of carting wood back and forth. Though you may recognize this from the last episode. This is where I ended up stopping for the night. But I had not... Um, I, had, I didn't do any, uh... This is not Danny, by the way. This is some random shark that attacked me in the water. I had to... Uh, I lost my temper. Snabbed him a few times. Um, yeah, so this is where we left off. And I can find my way back home. I actually... I mapped out an entire chart of these islands here. And I've named them all. So we go from 1A to 1D. We just came from 1D. This is now 2A. And I'm giving them that prefix number based on, um... The number of the, uh, whoop, let's get down here. The number of the version. So this is version 2, alpha 2. And the old one was version 1. So that way we probably won't go back to the islands 1 through D. 1A through 1D, rather. And we're going to stick to the version uh, 2 islands for now. And then if the next version comes out, we have to move to a new biome. We'll do that. And we'll find a new place to live. And uh, I'll call that 3. All right, hold on one sec. Let me just save it here. Because strange things are happening. I think I'm going to reload because it's a little choppy right now. I'll be right back. 
Okay, much better. And here comes the sun, doot and doo doo. And it's all right. So let's get started. Let us finish this shelter here. So check it out, guys. We can now put beds inside the shelters. You can see clearly that I have my bed inside here. You can uh, you can push them around with your body. You can also pick them up and move them. But I, you know what? I don't want to touch it because it took me a good 20 minutes just to get it in there just the way I want it. And if you just barely breathe on it, the thing flops all over the place. So we're going to leave it right there. And i got all these cooked crabs kind of in the way. Let's move them over here. I don't have proper storage just yet for everything. But my plan is to make a, uh, a, a three foundation size room. So we're going to put walls up right here, a roof, and then an overhang. We're going to put a door right here, which is something new. So let's just get to it instead of talking about it. Let's get some supports up here. Boom. Need two supports. And that's that. And I should have enough Hans and Franz to complete this part of the, uh, the shelter. But I do, I may add on to this later, but for right now, this ought to be fine. Get up there. Um, and a roof there, but you know what, let's put the wall up first. I'm gonna hold off on the roof and just make sure I have enough sticks, because I actually have lots of Hans and Franz over there. You can see them all stacked up against that log. So I chopped down most of the tweez here, but I left a couple, uh, the two twin palms there. And that island that we just came from was really my lumber supply. So here we go. Door. Four sticks. Two Hans and Franz leaves. Or maybe one Hans and one Franz. And two ropes. What a deal. And now we drop this inside Boop. the hole. Glad the fire's not lit. And hopefully this time we get the door open in. Yes. Excellent. Because I have been testing this with a different play. A uh, different save file, and sometimes it opens in, and sometimes it opens out. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason why it does that. Well, that's, uh, looks like we might have enough sticks to make a roof. I, I need eight sticks. Where are you going? I need eight sticks left over to replace Reggie, because Reggie is version one raft. And with the new version out, we, uh... We, we need to make a new one if you want to get the fixes. Because old version 1 Reggie, like the Model T Ford over there, um, has a few bugs. And they don't get fixed automatically. You have to make a whole new raft. So unfortunately, Reggie's going to have to be retired. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? And it's awesome. Guys, check it out. I love a little hole in the door too so you can peep out. When you're in here, it might be raining or something. You want to see what it's like outside. Boop. Ooh, still raining. Boop. And then just go back to sleep. I'm going to put my stuff over here, I think. Like some special gear. My important gear. Ow! That hurts. And, uh, and of course, the bed on the other side. So not it's not the Shangri-La or anything, but it ought to do for now. And, oh, wait. There's one more thing I want to do. How many sticks do I have? Hold on. I just want the support. This is this shelter's not complete. I need one more thing. This will be very quickly, quick. And then we're going to be on our way. I want to go take a look for some of the new stuff, guys. There's some new, uh, some new fishies. And there's even some new wrecks. Apparently, there's like maybe a sunken plane or something like that. That would be awesome. I want to find a sunken plane. And a roof to go up on top of that. Boom. Huh? Look it. Look it. Isn't this awesome? I will eventually put more roof over here too so we'll have a covered deck. And you sit here. The whole idea of this design is you can sit here by the fire. Right? Keep the rain off. You can cook. You can warm up by the fire. And you can look out over the ocean and wish that you were somewhere else. Just kidding. Who doesn't love this? Okay. Now, whoo, um, let us drop the hammer. I'm done building. And this is a cooked crab. What time is it? I'm getting hungry. 9 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, I've done quite a bit of work here off camera. Hope you guys don't mind. But it's hard to do a chronological thing. That was my idea was to do, you know, every day. The day, a day in the life of Pablo Punchwood. But I really needed to move and... Ah, and uh, I didn't really have much choice, so I apologize. Perhaps when this game is completely completed, we should be able to do like a, uh, a day in the life sort of roleplay thing. But it's not how it works in Alpha. Mm, when you have to continuously move around to get new stuff, which is kind of a shame, but that's the way it'd be. That's what we signed up for. Alright. Oh, I found cloth. 
So there is actually a wreck over here, and I, I looked around in it, and I found some cloth. I have to go back down there because I didn't get everything. Now, check this out. Cloth. Duct tape. Hmm? Now, see my arm? It's still chopped up because Danny bit me. Dicky bit me! Dicky bit me! Danny probably bit me once or twice too, but Dicky started it way back when, and I'm still injured and bleeding every time I go in the water. So, let's try something here. I'm gonna drop this down and drop that down, and if we do clomp... <gasps> Crude bandage! It works. This is in the, in the changelog notes. Check it out. It's a roll of gauze. Let's wrap it around my arm and I'll be better, I bet. Uh-huh! Yeah! Oh! Oh! Oh, it works more than once. It's a roll of bandage. Can be used to treat bleeding. I'm gonna pull my arm up now. And... Yeah! All better! That's awesome! <laughs> Let's put some of this stuff inside the house now that we have a house. Uh, morphine and the real important goodies. Machete for defense at night in case something comes. I can't wait until there's some land-based predators. A jaguar, maybe, or a crazy ferret. I don't know. Something. Maybe a rabid monkey. So let's just put this in here. Let's, uh, I guess we could make a raft, couldn't we? I have enough sticks, but you know what we're gonna do? Come here, you fella. Bonk. Oh, wait. I'm gonna make a spear. I'm gonna go spear fishing. We're gonna go spear fishing for some new fishies. Boop. And then I think what we'll do is we will go looking around for a, um... Oh, don't you mess up. Don't you mess up my thing. Where are you? There you are. See what it made a nice arrangement? Oh, this is where the coconuts go. This is where the coconuts live. Uh, I need more rocks, though. Yeah, that's alright. We'll get more another time. So, let's go stab some stuff and bring them back. There's some new fishies. And I'm gonna keep saving because, 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 because. Oh, wait. There's a wreck out here. Let's go get the wreck. Um, it was off by... T it was off 20. Oh, no. It's Danny. I think it's right over there. Should I bring my scuba tank? I have a scuba tank. You can breathe air out of that. Scuba tank. Um, let's give it a try. I've never tried it. Might as well while well, he has it. Open the door. Let me in. Or I'll huff and I'll puff. There she is. Right where I left her. Lying down there in the ocean floor in her watery grave. Not far offshore. I think I was out too far before, eh? Alright, here we go, folks. No dolphins in sight. So let's do it. <gasps> Now, I've already checked out the top cabin here, so we just have to go to the lower cabin, which there is a door to the lower cabin. Here it is. Get inside. Ooh, a worm just swam by. More worms. Check them out. There's a hard case. Pocket knife. That's kind of nice. There's a locker. And flashlight. Ooh, a lantern. Definitely want the lantern. I don't need the flashlight. And a flare gun. Hold on. Let's get some breath. Go Ow. I'm going to save my tube of air if I can for a deeper wreck, just in case. <gasps> Back down. Nothing on top. I don't think there's anything else. Jump for the giant mushroom. Oh, a toolbox. Duct tape! Gotta love me some duct tape. Oh, hey, look, it's one of the new creatures. Guys, a lionfish, but I gotta get some air. <laughs> Hold on. We're not bleeding anymore, so that's good. Look at him go! He's so cute! Just don't touch him. Don't touch him. He's got venomous spines. Them lionfish. All right, I don't see any other lockers or cabinets. And do I have any more space? I'm not sure what else to bring. I have no more space. Okay. I'd rather have the lantern and the flare gun than that flashlight. I can always come back for that later anyway. Let's climb aboard. Reg? All right, Reggie, bring me home. And then we're going to come out here and get one of those lionfish. Let's just toss this stuff down here for now, make a little space, and we're going to do some fishing. We'll just go fishing right here. So these lionfish, right? They are very spiny. They have venomous spines on them. And if you, uh, you get poked by one, then you are not going to feel too good for a while. It could even be fatal. Depending. If you're a healthy person, then most likely you'll be okay. But if you're old or young, then... Uh, or you have Oh, a discus! They're cute too! And an archer. I haven't seen... I haven't really done any fishing here, have I? Archer fish. Those are the guys that spit water and knock f bugs out of the, the air into the water so they can eat them. Right? You know, I used to work at an aquarium. 
for many, many years when I was going to college. Angel fish? A trigger fish? Oh, get him. Come here. Oh, they're, they're nasty, though. Watch out. They do bite. They are so nasty. Very territorial. And they got a wicked bite. Tough, tough teeth and jaws on those guys. Oh, where'd he go? Come here. But you can't beat the spear now, can you? <laughs> okay, now let's go down and try to find a lionfish. That's what we're here for. Where did he go? I think it was that crazy worm again. Oh, there's one. Lionfish. Poke! Wait! I don't even want to touch him! How am I going to get him off? That was kind of dumb. Alright, let's get on to... Ow! Oh, I feel strange! Alright, pull him off. Ow! Oh, I guess I should have left him alone. Let's get him back. He's pretty. You know, you can eat lionfish. It's a, it's a delicacy in some parts of the world. Some people like the exotic animals, eating exotic animals that can potentially kill you. In some sort of a, I don't know, challenge or something. Bragging rights. I ate a lionfish. I ate a lionfish and I didn't die. However, uh, I prefer not to eat things that can kill me. So typically, yeah, if you get if you get poked by a lionfish, you're gonna get pretty nauseous and dizzy. Uh, it could even lead to some breathing problems, some kind of respiratory problems. Look at the light in here! Isn't that awesome, guys? I love it. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Let's put one over here in the corner. Uh, drop. Look at all the light we have in here. I'd like to get one more lantern to put one outside. Back. I was ow, light a fire. Uh, okay, great. So, let's put the flare gun down. Don't need the tube of air. And lionfish. I really shouldn't be holding this. <laughs> See, we can't eat it. Awesome. And a triggerfish, which does not look like a triggerfish in your pocket, but if you pull it out... Oh, yeah, that's a triggerfish, all right. They call it a triggerfish because it can. Uh, it has this, like, locking mechanism. It locks itself into little holes and places so the predators can't get it. It's kind of cool. Ooh! But uh, there's like a button on it or something where you can disengage the locking system or some such. I've, I don't know. I've never... No, 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 no. I've never done that. But we... Um, I know when I worked at the pet shop, we had them. But I never actually owned one personally. I never ate one either. I don't think I want to. Let's get... Ow! You can't touch that! Can't touch this. What the heck? That hurts. Now I'm hungry. I might eat a lionfish. Is that a bad idea? I'll tell you what. <laughs> Let's save it first. All right, you know what? You're, you're taking too long. Get out of here. I want to cook that lionfish. Oh, we can. This is dumb. Wait, do I have weird stuff on my arm? What the heck is wrong with me? Ah, I, I got the measles. All right, I hope that's not permanent. Look at my arm. Ew. Okay, I think it was right. I should have left... I should have left the, the... The lionfish alone. <laughs> uh, okay, note to self. If it's venomous, walk away. Or swim away. But you know what? We do this for science, folks. This is all for science. All for science. No! Stop it now. Uh oh I'm getting rid of this thing. Get it out of here. I don't ever want to see it again, and I can't even drop it now. Be gone with you. That's going to be a problem, isn't it? I'm going to be stepping on that. Should have left well enough alone. Look at my arm. Hey, I have vitamins, but not here. I have vitamins back at um, my first home, 1A. 1A is 220, by the way. We can get there. It's actually pretty far. It's kind of a hike. And it's over some pretty deep waters. But we might have to do that next time. I'm going to leave a flashlight here. Yeah, guys. Oh, man. Look at my arm. What did I do to myself? That, that looks bad. Doesn't it? Let's get that fire going again. Click. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know if that's permanent. I'm probably going to be getting thirsty and hungry now that I've done that to myself. That was dumb. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I can make a new raft. I think I'm going to make a new raft and make that trip back and get my vitamins because I think the vitamins will make me feel better. <laughs> we'll do that in the next episode. 
So I think we're gonna call it quits for here uh, for this episode, guys. Um, actually, why don't we just wait? Let's eat this trigger fish at the very least. Maybe that'll cure me. Oh, I don't like looking at that. That's gross. It's like little pock marks in my my hand. Something eating away at my flesh. Ah, put that away. There we go. Oh, he's shiny. Look how shiny. A cooked clown trigger fish. One serving. Hmm. Well, here's looking at you, kid. Down the hatch here in my awesome new shelter. Got the fire going. Got slight disease happening here, but it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Down the hatch. Oh, no! Don't eat the trigger fish! Once again, folks, learn from, blah, from my mistakes. Blah, don't eat trigger fish, okay? Don't pick up lionfish and don't eat trigger fish. Don't spit into the wind. Don't pull the... the don't tug on Superman's cape. <laughs> it's all for science. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you next time. Take care.